In this video, I'm going to be ranking the top 10 best budget cards under 10,000 MT in NBA 2K23, my team. These are just going to be some of the best cheap budget cards in my team. And you guys can let me know in the comment section down below which are your guys' favorite budget cards for under 10,000 MT. And let me know what you guys would change about my top 10. But coming in at the number 10 spot is going to be the Pink Diamond Jonathan Bender. And the card only goes for about 9 to 10,000 MT. And he's going to be such an overpowered small forward, being 7 foot with a 7 foot 4 wingspan. I mean, just that in itself is super glitchy for Jonathan Bender. He's got all around great stats and badges and his jump shot is super knocked down with the Montrose Herald base. The Trey Young upper is actually a great jump shot on quick timing. I feel like it's super easy to green with and very good in the catch and shoot. And then also he's got really good dribble six for a seven foot small forward. He's got the MJ dribble style that uh, uh, Trey, not Trey, can I speak English? The Trey Young size up, and he does have the Curry escape. Dame behind the back. He's got really good dunk packages across the board. So, I mean, this card for under 10,000 MT, I think he's going to be the 10th best budget card. Coming in at the number nine spot is going to be the Galley Sopel Herald Miner, a shooting guard, point guard, six foot five with a six foot eight wingspan. A really good offensive point guard. You know, he's got the Derrick Rose base, the Donovan Mitchell upper on very quick timing. And then he's got the Curry six. He's got the Curry size up, the Curry escape. He's got the Dame behind the back. He's got quick drops off one. Like just all around is a really good offensive point guard. And he only goes for about five to 10,000. Really good at getting to the basket and does have some pretty good Hall of Fame badges for a Galaxy Opal card. And then coming in at the number eight spot is going to be another Galaxy Opal card from the generational set. And that's going to be Galaxy Opal Cedric Maxwell, a six foot eight small forward seven foot wingspan and if we're talking about offense he's one of the better offensive budget cards in my team having the O'Shea base the Rudy Gay upper on very quick timing is such a knockdown release and then he's also got the Carmelo Anthony size up he's got the Steph Curry escape Dame behind the back he's got the two best dunk packages in the game the quick drops off one and the front clutches as well so I mean this card could use some better defensive tendencies but besides that is a really good all-around offensive small forward for under 10,000 MT but coming in at the number Number seven spot is going to be a very elite defensive card, and that is the Galley Swipple Miles Turner, a card who's a center power forward, six foot 11 with a seven foot four wingspan, and he only goes for about 5,000 MT. And I think he's going to be such an elite defensive card with a 98 block, 95 interior defense, 88 steel, 89 primitary. He's got a Hall of Fame anchor, box out beast, chase on artist interceptor, pogo stick, post lockdown, rebound chaser, workhorse, and then even offensively does have a great jump shot on very quick timing he's got the deer and fox size up he's got the john ball escape team behind the back so he can even move a little bit on the offensive end and then really good defensive tendencies with a 99 block shot and a 99 contest shot so miles turner an amazing defensive card for under 10,000 mt and i think all around is the seventh best budget card for under 10k mt but coming in at the number six spot is going to be an offensive demon at the small forward position and that's going to be galley Super kyle kuzma a six foot nine small forward seven foot wingspan and we know he has one of the best jump shots in the game at least in my opinion the Kyle Kuzma base and the Kyle Kuzma upper on very quick timing is number one super easy to time and green with and also super fast where you can get the shot off in time before contests come and I think it's a really good jump shot in the catch and shoot and then he's also got really good dribble sigs with the Kyle Lowry size up the Trey escape Dame behind the back he just moves really well in game for a small forward and then you look at his stats like he's still a solid defender with a 92 steel, 88 block, 92 perimeter, 19 tier defense, and he's got some pretty good Hoff badges across the board, including 17 in total. But halfway into my list here, coming in at the number five spot is going to be the Galley Super Luol Deng, a card that's right at the 10,000 MT mark. I think he goes for like nine to 10,000 MT, but he's going to be worth that price tag. Six foot nine and can play small forward and shooting guard. Does have a seven foot wingspan, and just the defense he does provide is super elite. He's got a 92 block, 98 steel. 98 perimeter 95 interior defense he's got tons of good hall of fame defensive badges including hall of fame anchor challenger clamps glove interceptor menace off ball pass pick dodger post lockdown and then even offensively you know he can move a little bit he's got the d mitch size up he's got the curry escape dame behind the back like he's actually got some pretty good dribble six and then also a very solid jump shot on very quick timing and he also does have that devin booker leaner even his defensive tendencies are not that bad for a galley simple card so luol dang i think is going to be the fifth best by 
budget card under 10,000 MT. But coming in at the number four spot is just going to be a giant center, and that's going to be Pink Diamond Peter, who only goes for about five to seven thousand MT, which I think is still extremely good value for a center card who's seven foot two with a seven foot ten wingspan, has such a good player modeling game. Like he almost looks seven foot three or seven foot four sometimes. He's got great defensive stats with a 90 block, 85 steel, 84 perimeter, 90 interior defense, and he does have some pretty good half defensive badges, including Hall of Fame anchor, box out beast brick wall, and post lockdown as well. I will say that's one big flaw with the Pink Diamond Peter card is he's really missing out on a lot of badges just on gold, not even Hall of Fame, but he is missing a lot of badges that definitely if you get this card, you want to add some to to make him a little bit better. But I still think for under 10,000 MT, going to be one of the best budget cards in my team. And then coming in at the number three spot is going to be Galax Opal Jalen Rose, a really good point guard all around. He's six foot eight with a seven foot wingspan. He gives you great defense with an 82 block, 91 steel, 92 perimeter, 90 interior defense. He's got very solid defensive tendencies for an Opal card, 92 on ball steal, 88 contest shot, and an 88 block shot. And jump shot wise, I think is where it really comes down to with Jalen Rose, because I know a lot of people don't like his release. And I know a lot of people that do love his release, myself included. I think it's a great jump shot with the Kyle Kuzma upper and the Tony Parker base on very quick timing. I think it's super easy to agree with. It does sometimes get some load up animations and just some bad animations in general, but I still think it's a great jump shot. And then the one thing you can't deny is the fact that he's got such good dribble sigs with the Steve Francis size up and the tray escape. I think that's probably the best size up and the best escape in the game and then he's also got the quick drops off one and he does have the front clutches as well but at the number two spot i think is going to be a point guard that's just slightly better than jalen rose and that is galley sopo hito turkaloo very similar point guards that's why i think they're number two and number three i feel like they got to be right next to each other because they're that close at the point guard spot but hito turkaloo six foot ten with a six foot eleven wingspan so a little bit more size than jalen rose and i also do think he has a better jump shot with the john stockton base and the trey young upper on very quick timing i think it's just a little bit faster of a jump shot and a lot more consistent when it comes to timing the release and they have very similar dribble sigs like jalen rose probably moves a little bit better in game like he moves a little bit faster but i mean it's not like Hugo turkaloo can't move he's got the kyle larry size up the curry escape he's got front clutches and the thing i like about Hugo turkaloo is just his size at the point guard spot he does have a really good player model i think kind of comparing Hugo turkaloo and jalen rose is jalen rose moves a little bit better and is the better defensive card but then Hugo turkaloo's got the better player model he's taller and has a definitely better jump shot in game but both going to be some of the best budget cards for under 10,000 mt and then at the number one spot in my opinion the best budget card for under 10,000 mt is actually going to be the new galley simple jokey noah i think he's such a good power forward center card it doesn't really matter where you want to run him probably most people would run him at power 46 foot 11 with a 7 foot 1 wingspan the defense on this card is super elite having a 96 block 96 steel 95 perimeter 96 interior defense he's got almost every single hall of fame defensive badge in the game and then also does have a great jump shot with the christian wood base the scotty pippen upper on very quick timing is a super knockdown jump shot and then also really good dribble sigs for joakim noah you know with the devin booker size up the john ball escape the dame behind the back and he also does have pretty much max out defensive tendencies so in my opinion guys these are going to be the top 10 budget cards for under 10,000 mt let me know in the comment section down below what you guys would change about the list and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace